So you may be working inside of Tableau and you're trying to do a temp table or insert some kind of table so that you can reference it later, whether it's going to be in a join or something like that. And Tableau just doesn't support it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this and you're going to get an error. It's going to be a syntax error and you're just trying to figure out how to do this. I'm going to show you how to solve that in this particular tutorial. So right here, what we have is I'm creating a temporary table that I want to be able to use so that I can reference it later down here in my left joint. And that's just because I'm going to be doing a little max function right here. So I need to pre-aggregate it, but I do need the a certain number from off of there, an ID in order to be able to join it on. So you won't be able to do that inside of an inner join or anything like that right here to accomplish what I want to do. So again, creating a temp table was the best way to do it. And so that temp table is going to be called lookup and we'll look at this in SQL. So it's a lot easier to follow. But when you go to try to do it, Tableau gives you an error saying, Hey, I can't do it. So you say, okay, well, maybe I can't create a temp table in Tableau, which you cannot do. But then when you go here, it's going to try to reference that table and that table might not be found. Now I have that table already loaded on the server, so it's not a problem. What I want to do is show you how to actually access this. And let's take a look at the SQL query real quick so we can see exactly how that was built. So here we are in SQL and we have the same exact query that we had inside of Tableau where we have this uh, create table. We're going to insert in. We just want this ID number and this region number right here. A little bit of logic that we put in there. And then we want to later use this table inside of this bigger query that we have down here. And so when we run this inside of SQL, this works out perfectly. So if I try to go ahead and run this without it, so let's go ahead and let's hit control. Right. We run it. We see, okay, there is no table call lookup. And again, that pound is just for a temporary table. So it's not finding this particular table. So let's run our create table first. So it's created and it's added all the data from that query in there. And then let's move this down a little bit. And then let's highlight our select statement down here. Now, when we run it, we're going to get our data back. So now everything is working the way we want it to work. But we need to get this to be able to execute in Tableau every single time it opens. And so in order to do that, you're actually going to go right here to this little button right here. You're going to go to initial SQL. And in here is where you actually want to put that create table. So let me bring that in and write that in here. So this is where you want to put just the first portion of that, where you're actually going to be creating that temp table. And you want to put that inside your initial SQL and you're going to hit OK. And so what Tableau is going to do is as soon as Tableau loads this particular data source that someone goes and reaches for this view, it's going to execute that create table in memory and then hold it there for you. And then for the actual custom SQL, which you can just drag from right there, let's go right here and edit custom SQL. And we're going to get rid of that and now bring it in here. And now we're going to be able to execute that entire query because it's going to create that temp table and then allow us to execute it right here. And so that is how you want to go about um, executing a temp table. I don't believe it supports common table expressions, but we'll have to test that out in another training. But you can see we can get all of our data right back in one view by using that custom table. So that is how you get around having to use temp table or how do you use temp tables inside of Tableau.